I'm Louise. I work for a local newspaper here in London. I love writing and I really enjoy interviewing. But there's one thing about my job I really hate, and that's public speaking. The problem is that no matter what work you do, speaking in public is almost impossible to avoid. These days, most roles require communication skills. From small presentations to big conference speeches, you need to be able to deliver a message clearly and confidently. But for people like me, this isn't easy. I find speaking in public terrifying. I become tense and nervous and find it very difficult to relax. So that's why I've come here, to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. RADA first opened in the Haymarket in London in 1904. It offers training for theatre specialists, including actors, stage managers, directors and designers. It has become one of the most famous acting schools in the world and some of the entertainment industry's biggest names have studied here. But what am I doing here? Well, it's about time I overcame my fear of public speaking. And to do this, I need to become a good actor. After all, actors and public speakers use a lot of the same skills. Both should tell a story and both should engage an audience. Because of this, RADA runs several public speaking courses. a series of individuals. And of course, individuals are never as scary as the mass. Does that make sense? I've come here to develop an actor's approach to speaking effectively and Sandy, an actor for over 30 years, is going to show me the way. The RADA approach to public speaking can be summarised in three words. Think, breathe, speak. Tell me if anything doesn't make sense. No, it does and I've always wanted a really grown up. First, we're going to focus on the think part. First of all, I hope you don't mind me asking, but why are you here? Um, well, I tend to do a lot of one-on-one -on -one work with people when I'm interviewing them or if I'm... At this stage, you talk through your concerns and set an objective for the session. a big group of people and they're not behind a microphone or TV camera. I get so nervous. Even like at meeting new people at parties or dinner parties. So it would just be good to learn a few techniques to feel more confident. OK, so... Then you give a presentation in your usual style and get some interesting feedback from Sandy. So that's about it. Cool. Very, very well done. Thank you very much indeed. Really well done, Lou. How was that for you? So I think you're absolutely charming, Lou. You come across with a really positive energy. You've got a lovely open face. You very clearly are naturally engaging, which means I, as your audience, are naturally engaged. You're friendly, you're affable, and you've got a great smile, which is wonderful. Things, small things that I think you might be able to do differently. So you were playing with your feet. You right. were playing with your feet like a five-year-old. So if I say that you were doing that on your heels, right. on your, do, oh, do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you crossed your legs. Right. The probably the most significant thing that I noticed that we could do, you could do differently, is to slow down and see yourself and feel yourself confident and sure. I want you to put if you can get your body language right, so it will help your breathing control, and controlling your breath shoulders, is your central to good public stop. speaking. Saying what you, want to say. you learn to relax and find the power behind the voice through warm-up and breathing exercises. I trust, Lou, you're aware of that amazing range you in fact have, yeah? Yeah. So you're breathing in, sighing out, pushing all the air right out, waiting to... Once you have mastered the thoughts and the breath, you can finally speak. But this isn't as easy as it sounds. Good afternoon. Brilliant. You've done that really, really well. Got the hang of that. So now we're going to get a bit of oomph into our voice by doing it like an opera singer. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're going to leave a stage. That it isn't always good. easy to speak naturally. But finally, after a lot of practice, the words start to flow. Now I can try a full paragraph. I'll share some very embarrassing stories and I'll explain the impact that our work has on very lonely people. 
This is about you have to make an impact from the beginning, and Sander gives you the A B C D of the perfect opening. And it's just as important to end on a positive note. And body language, and anticipate finishing by 4 p.m. Speaking and communicating are two very different things, and communicating effectively takes skill perseverance, and lots of hard work. Unfortunately, it isn't as easy as just reading the right words. You need to tell the story too. But if you can do this, you will draw in your audience, and as they relax, you'll relax too. I thought your pace was excellent. It was really measured, it was clear. I would have understood exactly what you were about to do, who you were, and why you were doing that. So as far as I'm concerned, that was really, really effective communication. Thank you. Pleasure. I still feel nervous about speaking in front of people, but at RADA I enjoyed public speaking for the first time. And the more I enjoyed it, the better I became. And that's what the RADA technique is all about. It gives you the skills to grow in confidence. So, like an actor, you can face your audience with assurance rather than fear.